I think John was one of the best centers to ever play for Canada. You know, after making his first, uh, playing his first first game for Canada at the age of 20, he I think started 28 of the next 30 games. So that's just a testament to how consistent he was. Uh, on the field, he was tough, hard-nosed player. Off the field, he was just a, a happy, uh, happy-go-lucky kind of guy. So uh, if you never met him, you know he was a he was a great player and probably an even better friend. He had an infectious smile and. Uh, he would take time out of his day for anyone. He was one of those guys that if you cross paths with him, you wouldn't walk away not being his friend. He was a, a real special person and uh, I love him and miss him. Everybody's lasting impression that John could walk into a room and everybody would remember who he was. He had a really magnetic charisma. The way John played made you, uh, made you proud to have him represent your country. He never took a step backwards and put his body on the line every day, every minute of every game. Before international matches, when uh, the national team, they're arm in arm, ready to sing the anthem, I always tried to stand next to John because he would always sing it louder than anyone else. And it always made me proud to not only be his teammate, but to be going into battle with this guy. He was such a, such a nice guy to be around that uh, you'd always remember that smile. He was kind of a bit cheeky as well, but you know, Sometimes mischief, sometimes fun, but super warm-hearted. He had a love, love for life that was, it was infectious. It was hard not to be around him and not be uh, caught up in it. He was one of those guys, you just, you wanted him to be around you. Uh, as a person, he was a uh, kind, caring, happy-go-lucky kind of guy. He had this massive smile um, that, uh, if you saw it, you couldn't help but not uh, smile with him. He was great. Uh, he was a great guy.